Yo, what up, y'all? Your boy Brick Street Sprite in the building. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. Now, dog, super fight happened last night, man. Yesterday evening. They just finished it today. That's why I waited till today for them to finish it, to do my recap, because they didn't do the Cortez. Now, I also wanted to say something. Um, if y'all think that... Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. If y'all think that uh, Smack, or Smack and Beasley, Troy and Beasley still own Smack and own URL, all you needed to see last night for evidence that they don't anymore and that and that caffeine owns that shit now is the fact that smack tried to make a call for them to do that battle last night that cortez y'all seen it cortez ace i mean and caffeine pulled the plug on his ass if he was really owning that shit still they wouldn't have been able to do that shit nah caffeine owns that shit stop telling me that smack still owns url because he doesn't they don't. Caffeine owns that shit. There you go. That's all you needed to see as far as evidence, dog. But anyway, let's get into the card, man. But that's why I waited till today to do this card, to do this, 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 uh, this uh, recap because I wanted to wanted to see the Cortez and, and Ace battle. We'll start with that. Fuck it, because it 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 uh it happened just a minute ago. You know what I mean? Literally just went off. Now, I see a lot of people in the chat. I'm going to make it quick. I've seen a lot of people in the chat bitching like, like Cortez lost that battle somehow. Like Ace Amin was robbed. First of all, it wasn't a robbery in a debatable battle. How could you say it's a robbery? A robbery is when it's clear. That shit was far from clear. Second of all, Ace Amin was stumbling and bumbling all the way through. He choked in the first and stumbling all through the second. How could you give either of the first two rounds to Ace Amin when Cortez was flawless through the first two rounds with bars, performance, didn't stutter or fuck up on none of his shit. Not even a fucking stutter. But y'all want to give Ace Amin one of those first two rounds? He clearly got the third, but he clearly lost the first two rounds. Don't at me or even quit. Y'all motherfuckers, man. Just be haters and don't even really pay attention to the battle. You know what I'm saying? But either way, man, I'm not mad if you got him winning. Ace, but don't say it's a robbery, bro. He was Cortez was flawless through the first two rounds. Like, come on, come on, with, get out of here with that. Anytime the dude you want loses, everybody hollering robbery. Like, it's a robbery if it's really a robbery. That was not no fucking robbery, man. That shit gets used too much and thrown around way too much. But anyway, man, let's get to this card, man. Uh, let's move on. Cause I had I had Cortez two one easy. It was two zero through the first two. I had that. That was uh, that was a no brainer if you ask me. I don't play all that stumbling shit. All that I might let you get away with one, but three, four, five in a round, like nah, bro. I'm sorry. If the other dude's flawless, you lose. Damn near five stumbles add up to damn near like a choke to me. You know what I mean? Like, but whatever, man. Y'all can judge battles how you want, but that I'm a little more old school, man. I don't be giving motherfuckers passes for them stumbles and chokes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, if you choke or if you stumble a shit ton of times, then you lose the round, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very, uh, very, uh, lenient when it come down to that type of shit. I don't be feeling bad, you know what I mean? But, where we at, man? What was the first battle? Kid Chaos and Chess? Yo, I thought there was a line. Now, this was a fire battle. I really liked the back and forth. Kid Chaos came out on fire. If the rest of his rounds would have been like that, it would have been crazy. He would have third like that. Would I was like, yo, if 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 he comes like this, the second and third, that's gonna be tough to beat. Cause that first round was clear and it was fire. Well, it was chess was fire too. I don't know if it was clear, clear, but he won that first round. And that first round out of Kid Chaos was fire. Fire. But then he got into his old tricks again. As far not good tricks, as far as being too drawn out. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said before, Chilla had to cut his schemes down from like eight to four bars. He's going to have to figure out a way to do that 
Because nowadays people don't have the attention span in this microwave society. I like that style, but other people don't have the attention span to, to stay with these long drawn out schemes. You know what I'm saying? But um, I had Chaos win in the first, and I had Chess take in the second and third. I had chess fire as fuck in the second and third. His third was crazy. There was also a line that he said that I just think chess, especially for how young he was when he started, his age, and he's kind of shaking that fucking uh, choke, choking, uh, 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 what do you call it? He kind of had like a choke reputation as, as like a choker. He's kind of shaking that, man. In his last couple battles against Loso and against Chaos, he had no stumbles. He was on point. He His preparation been on point. You know what I'm saying? But he just has like this believability, man. In his own style, it's crazy. He has like this energy and aura that is mad believable and mad like just, you know what he's talking about is pain and real. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh. Chess is fire. I fuck with chess. But there was a line where he said something about uh, Simba. What'd he say? He said that Simba line that he had was hella slept on, bro. Talking about how he went from kid to man or something. Like, bro. Like, because... Bro, I just think that Simba line was fire. I can't remember it verbatim, but there was a line about Simba that was crazy. And it got no reaction. And it was fire as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was fire. Like, man. But it got no reaction, and it is what it is. I don't know if it was over people's heads. But he was talking about the Kuna Matata song when, when in the middle of the song, Simba goes from... Goes from boy to man goes from a kid to a man you know what i mean or a grown like oh it was something about you won't hear kids voice no more or something like uh it was crazy like it was crazy bro like but either way it was fire you know what i'm saying i can't like i said i can't quote it verbatim but it was over everybody's head and it was fire but it was straight fire he had a lot of fire shit man i don't have anything written down because i didn't when I watch them the first time, I'm listening. I'm not writing them down. I don't ever knew how people can listen and write. Seems like you're going to be missing shit if you're writing shit down. I've always thought. But maybe some people are good at that. I usually write shit down the second time that I watch. You know what I mean? But I had chess 2-1 in that battle. Let's move on. Arsenal, real sick. I don't know if that was the next battle, but that was. that's what I got on my list. Arsenal, real sick. Um, this was a very competitive battle, man. I knew Arsenal was going to come hard, come heavy. Pause. Come hard. Yo, I don't pause very often, but that was pause worthy. My bad, y'all. Anyway, at least I caught myself. But anyway, very, I knew he was going to come fire. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. I knew Arsenal wasn't going to let the next up and coming dude from Jersey just come and 30 him. You know what I'm saying? In that first round, he stumbled a little bit. He was, but he got it together and was flawless the rest of the battle. I really liked what Arsenal was saying. I thought Arsenal's third was fire as fuck, but it didn't beat out Real Sick. Real Sick's material was just crazy, crazy. That shit where he said, you a dub, you dub, and I battle. That's what the difference between you and I. Like, come on, bro. But this was a dope-ass battle. Dope-ass back and forth. They really put on for Jersey. I really love the showing from Arsenal, and I love how he pays... Paid real sick the respect, you know what I'm saying? And gave him the shot to to go at to go at Big Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. That was almost like him earning his fucking jersey, earning his fucking starter jacket. Or you or or his uh or his uh his uh you know varsity jacket for Jersey, uh real sick, you know what I mean? But I have real sick winning two one. I had him win in the second or the first and the third. I had Arsenal win in the second in a very debatable battle. I'm not mad if you go with Arsenal, but I just think real sick edged it in the third with that U dub angle and that U U dub and I bro that shit was fire as fuck. But I had real sick winning that battle two one. Moving on, head ice Av. This shit. If you don't know what to listen, Head Ice has a crazy style. So if you don't, not he's he's got like a real like it's like a it's like a a uh, it's like a it's something you got to get used to. 
You know, an acquired taste is what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm used to head ice because I listen to head ice a lot. So I'm used to head ice's style. I know what to listen for. He was fire in this battle. His third round was crazy, and his first round was long as fuck. Av would have been a little better off if he had a little bit longer. Av was still punching, but this wasn't the best performance out of Av. It was straight, straight, but far from the best Av I've seen lately. This was his weakest performance in a while. And uh, I don't know if he felt like he could just show up and beat Head Ice, if he thought he was that much better than Ice, but I had Ice winning the first and the third, man. We're just going to get right to it, you know what I mean? Um... I don't have a lot of bars to break down. Like I said, I got to hear them all again. You know what I'm saying? But I may do a bar breakdown of some of these. But if I can't listen to it more than once, I don't really write down the bars, like I said. But I had Head Ice winning this shit, the first and the third. Yo, Av second was crazy. I, his head ice, but his gut slushy. You know what I'm saying? Or his, or his bro, <laughs> that shit was crazy, bro. That shit was, that shit was crazy. Gut slushy, slush gut, or whatever, head ice, but slush gut, whatever the fuck he said, that shit was fire, but I had head ice, head ice edging the battle 2-1, had him edging that third round, or he won the third round clear, edged the first, I had, because it seems like he'll have some dry spots, and then shit will start adding up, you know what I'm saying, like, if he would have cut it short, he would have lost that first. But after a while, some of those moments started adding up. Because he'll have some dry spots, then he'll have some moments. But in that long-ass round, it started adding up, adding up. And if Avs isn't going to defend it or call it out, then that's on him. And try to time him, that's that's on him. You know what I'm saying? But it was crazy how he was, how he was, his moments was adding up, adding up, adding up. And that's why I had him edging that first. Because eventually those moments added up. And he had a couple more moments than Av did. A couple more bars than Av did. So I had him edging the motherfucking round. Whether that's because he rapped for longer, I don't know. But that's not his fault. It's Av's fault for not stopping it if that's what he thought. You know what I'm saying? But either way, ice 2-1. Ice! Let's go. I was glad to see him back on URL too. That was fire. And it, uh, he got a good reception, which was dope. I really liked that. Now we got to get him and Jay the Nightwing popping. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Him or easy, him and easy to block, or him and or him and uh, him and uh, Jay, I think Jay the Nightwing got to happen first, though. You know what I mean? But let's move on, man. Um, where we at? We did Ace Amin and Cortez. We did Arsenal real sick. We did Chaos Chess, and we did Head Ice and Av. T Top Swamp. T Top Swamp. Now. If y'all need an example for why the judging system, as far as the fan vote, is ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? And I don't care about fake angles, bro. Fake angles, a lot of battles have been won on fake angles. You know what I'm saying? As long as you can make it sound fire and sound sound believable at all. At all. And I'm going to get into that some more when we talk about this hollow rum nitty battle. Um, I think that... As long as you can make it sound believable and realistic, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can use a fake angle, and if it's believable then it, and it passes, then that's, it is what it is. Um, so, I thought that the angle god fucking T-Top won this battle. Won this battle because not only did he win this battle material-wise, but... Swamp couldn't even get through his first or his second round, stumbling all over the place, forgetting his shit. Like, come on, man. What what we doing? What we doing? What are we doing? Like I said, I'm not very uh tolerant of that type of shit. Like I don't I don't I don't give people rounds when they fuck up that much. And I don't even think his his material was even more fire though than T Top. The third was alright, but T Top's third, I got I got this as a gentleman 30 for me. I don't think Swamp won a round. I got T-Top winning 3-0, Gentleman 30. I don't think it was a body, body bag, like a dirty 30, but I was way, I wanted to see a lot more out of Swamp. I was very disappointed in Swamp, very disappointed in his performance and his lack of fucking preparation. Wasn't ready. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe he got other shit. I know he got other shit going on in life, and maybe his motherfucking mind ain't there right now. I get it. I've been there. But... This is the worst time ever for that to happen because this is the battle you've been you've been clamoring for and the and the culture been clamoring for for damn near two years. So just a bad time for all that to, to happen to, to Swamp. That was almost like a Cortez moment. Because like I love Cortez, but just seems like his losses get magnified more than his wins. Cause he's beating some dope motherfuckers. Some of the best. 
those don't ever get mentioned. It's the times that he slipped up in big moments that always get magnified. But just seems like uh, I don't know what happened to Swamp, but I had him losing, bro. Had him losing. I love Swamp. I think he's fucking. He's a breath of fresh air, like I said in the in the in the prediction blog. He's fire, but he did not come with it. Not nearly a fire enough to beat T Top. You know what I'm saying? I had T Top winning that battle. Clearly, 3-0, gentlemen's 30. But let's move on. Man, yeah, let's move on. Um now, Hollow and Rum Nitty. I'm gonna get right to it and say Rum Nitty was trash to me. In this battle. I'm sorry. His third was straight. His first two rounds were cringeworthy to me. And like. He just doesn't do it for me. As far as. Every battle. Every single thing you say is all fiction. You know what I mean. It's all fake. It's all gun bars. It's all gun lines. Shit that you won't never do. Like. Throw some real shit in there. Like. bro, It's all fake shit. Unless he's mentioning his kids, you know what I'm saying? Which isn't even dissing the other dude. Isn't even dissing your opponent. Every time you say anything about your opponent, it's fake. It's about killing them. You know what I mean? Or it's a, it's like, please stop trying to use angles. Because you couldn't even... Nitty couldn't even pull off a real angle that his bitch, Hustle, gave to him on a silver platter for rock. Let alone a fake angle that doesn't even sound real. I, like I said, I don't mind fake angles. As long as it sounds realistic, as long as you can pull it off and make it sound somewhat legit, somewhat based in reality. But Hollow calling the cops on somebody never even happened, doesn't even sound realistic. What did you base that off, that IG post? I didn't get that from that IG post. He just said that, well, he didn't say nothing about calling 5-0, you know what I'm saying, or nothing. He never called 5-0, he even said it in an interview after with hip hop or with with 15 minutes of fame, I didn't call 5 0 on nobody, never. Hollow somebody that been to jail, been to prison, done time. He's been through the streets. I'm not mad at him if he ain't in the streets no more. I can't be mad at that. He's 37 with kids. Like, come on, bro. You shouldn't be in the streets no more. You know what I'm saying? You got your own clothing line, all this shit. You a bad. Bro, nah. But I thought Hollow won this battle. One and two. First round, he clearly won the first round. I think it was more Nitty being shitty, to be honest. This wasn't the best performance out of either of them. Definitely not the best hollow. Definitely not the best hollow. Nitty got the third. That was his best round. But I just thought the angle about him calling the police was cringy as fuck. He's just cringe at all angles. Just don't angle at all no more, especially if it's not real and doesn't even sound real. That was just an obviously fake angle. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least make it seem realistic. As soon as he started with that shit, I'm like, yo, come on, bro. Don't even get off what you do. Just try to gun bar him to death because that's what you do. But it just doesn't work for me. I'm not mad if you... I, to me, personally, I think that this is a debatable preference battle. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you prefer as far as styles is who you're going to go with. I definitely preferred Hollow's material a lot more and his style... Because he addressed a whole bunch of shit. He wasn't just gun barring him. He went to a little gun bar shit at the, in his first. But he addressed a whole bunch of shit. Addressed Nitty style and how Nitty, Nitty uses a bunch of New York slang. Even though he's from the West in his, bat, in, in his, in his rounds and in his bars. Like he said, you're going you gonna to try to kill me with gun bars and using slang from my city. You know what I'm saying? Like he addressed way more shit. He was way more versatile and like... He was way more uh, way more diverse with his content. You know what I'm saying? And I thought his performance was just... I thought... I already knew going into the battle that there was going to be more of a reaction for in, in the building from the crowd for Nitty. That's why I don't like all these battles happening on the, in LA, on the West. Because if, if you're battling... If you're from the East and you're battling somebody from the West, you're going to get gassed out. And that didn't really even happen as far as like really getting gassed out. But he still got way more of a reaction than Hollow did. There was like crickets for Hollow even when they, he should have got some reaction. There was like two or three people reacting for Hollow because it's all Nitty's people in the motherfucking crowd. Y'all got to realize that. You know what I'm saying? But even with that being said, they... 
Like, Nitty was reacting to his own shit more than the crowd was. Yeah, the crowd reacted for him more than they did for Hollow because it's all his crip homies and all. It's on the West. It's it's the home court advantage for him and Geechee and people like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I just don't like that. It's a home court advantage for them every single time. But it is what it is, man. You have to deal with that, I guess. But I still think it's trash, though, that that happens all the time. But either way, Nitty was reacting. What? I hate that shit. Hollow didn't have to react for all his bars. You have to scream what to try to get the crowd into it every after every punch. Like, come on, Nitty, man. Come on, bro. I just thought Nitty's first couple of rounds were terrible and cringeworthy, and he was down 2-0 going into the third. Hollow did a lot more with his material. I preferred Hollow's material more. I got Hollow 2-1. In a very debatable battle, preference battle, that could go either way. Whoever you prefer more, I would assume that's who you're going to go with. But Hollow, to me, was just way more diverse, way way more material, said way different shit, wasn't sticking on the same shit. Like, bruh. And Hollow, it's Hollow's first battle back in a minute, and he didn't have that much ring rust. But after now that he has a battle, in the you know, he, now that he's got one under his belt... This year and finally made a comeback. I'd like to see him again. I bet he'll have a better showing the next time he battles. If it's soon, get him and shine on fucking Summer Madness, man. That wasn't the best hollow, not even close. I'll definitely admit that. But it was even worse for Nitty. Definitely not even close to the best Nitty. Not even a fire Nitty at all. Like, I don't know, bro. I just thought the angle he tried to use was cringe and just sounded fake as fuck off rip. I don't care if it's a fake angle as long as it's fucking somewhat believable. You know what I'm saying? And could sound somewhat realistic and it just didn't. And he just wasn't even punching with the usual oomph. You know what I'm saying? With the usual substance and usual potency that Nitty does. I thought Hollow edged the battle 2-1. First and the second, man. And then Nitty won the third clear. But we got to do battles somewhere else. That's why I'm glad that this Summer Madness is in Houston. Because if Hollow battles somebody in Houston, they will definitely react for him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's battled down there many times before and they love and they fuck with him. But this this battling a West Coast dude on the West all the time type shit is like you're never going to get much crowd reaction. That's, crowd reaction doesn't sway me at all. I don't even pay attention to that shit as far as who I think wins the battle. But I do notice the crowd reaction, and I'll be like, yo, y'all obviously, like, just don't want to react to nothing Hollow says, you know what I'm saying, but either way, it's your boy, Brick Street Sprite, like, subscribe, comment, Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision, let me know who y'all thought won these shits, um, I'm not mad if you got Nitty winning the battle, like I said, it's a preference battle, 2-1 either way, but I just thought it was a very lackluster Nitty, and even though he had the home court advantage and it was all his people in the crowd and they reacted to him a little more than Hollow, he still had to, was reacting for his own bars more than they were, which is really telling. You know what I'm saying? Because they usually going crazy for Nitty. That's how you know it was a terrible performance by him. Hollow 2-1, man. Holla at your boy. I'm out of here.